Hello everyone. After conventional representation of external and internal threads and then free and sketching of studs, different types of studs, today we are going to start its third part, third part of free hand sketching that is rivet heads. Under this heading, we will see what exactly is riveting process and then we will see how many different types of rivet heads are there in our syllabus. So first of all, let's see what is riveting process and what are rivets. Rivets are used to fasten two or more plates or piece of metals permanently. So permanently means this type of joining process is a permanent joint. Joints made with rivets are called riveted joints. So riveted joints are permanent joints. They are commonly used in shipbuilding, construction of steel structures, bridges, boilers, tanks etc and in our kitchenware like pressure cookers and frying pan. Now we also know that a rivet is a small cylindrical piece of metal having a head, this part is head, a body, central part, cylindrical part or body or we can say shank and tapered tail. This end is known as tail. So head, shank or body and tail. A rivet is a specified by the diameter of its shank. So this is the diameter of rivet, diameter of shank. Now if this diameter is D, say this is D, capital D, then diameter at tapered end tail will be slightly smaller than D, 0.95 of D. So this is the basic difference, diameter at body or shank D, diameter at tail end is 9.95 of D. Now riveting process. So for joining two metallic plates, say these are two metallic plates, two metallic plates. So this is my first plate and say this is second metallic plate. So for joining two metallic plates, permanently what to do first of all we have to drill holes on these two plates of diameter d plus 1 or plus 2 so the size of this hole will be greater than d slightly greater than d 1 or 1.5 mm then in this hole we are required to insert this rivet like this so if we insert this rivet like this it will become something like this so head of the rivet then body and then tail part right so this is the final position of the rivet on this set of plates now what we will do is we will do hammering on this portion tail portion of the rivet and we will try to convert this part, tail part into another rivet head like this by proper hammering. So after hammering, tail end of the rivet will become a head, second head like this. So this is my first plate, first plate and this is second plate these are two plates which we are trying to join and this is rivet this is final rivet after the rivet process let me show you the part of rivet because because this is the most important part of this process rivetting so what is rivetting the process of forming another rivet head second rivet head after the rivet is placed in the hole previously drilled or punched through the plates is called rivetting or rivetting process so these are two plates and this is final rivet after rivetting process and this type of joint is a permanent joint. 
In our syllabus, we have four types of rivet heads: snap head, pan head, 60 degree CSK. CSK stands for countersunk. So 60 degree CSK head and flat head. Now let's begin with a problem. This question was asked in the year 2016 in the board examination of class 12 for 5 marks. Keep the excess vertical, sketch freehand the front view and top view of a snap head rivet of diameter 20 mm. Give standard dimensions. So first of all, the diameter of rivet is given 20 mm. And we have to calculate all standard dimensions for 20 mm. So 0.7 of t for 20 mm, 14 mm, then 0.8 of d for 14. So 0.8 of d for 20 mm is 16 mm and 1.6. 1.6 of d for 20 mm is 32 mm. These are all standard dimensions for the construction work of snap head rivet. Now first constraint or condition for the construction is that axis of the rivet head is vertical. So first of all draw a vertical line or vertical axis for the rivet then we have to draw its front view and top view. So we will start from its front view, we will project its front view somewhere here then we will project its top view. Now for front view first of all we have to mark its first limit for head. So limit of head is 0.7 of d height or limit of head is 0.7 of d. So draw two lines perpendicular to vertical axis and a point 7d apart 0.7 d 0.70 is the distance or gap between these two lines now radius for upper part is 0.8 of d 16 mm and the height is 0.70 it means center for the upper part will be somewhere here somewhere here means from this point this is 0.8 of d and this is 0.70 it means this gap or distance is 0.8 minus 0 0.7 0 0.1 of d so what to do mark center center for upper part, for rotation of upper part or for construction of upper part at a distance of 0.1 of d from this point or 0.8 d from this point. So 2 mm is the distance. So mark center. Then this point as center and 0.8 d, 16 mm as radius, draw upper part of this head like this then its body, diameter is 20 mm, so half of 20, 10 mm, half of 20, 10 mm. For suitable length, for any suitable length, and we have to show this part also. And then, last step, and please draw etching lines for proper representation. So this is the front view, front view of rivet head. Now for top view, project these limits of D. These are other two limits. And draw axis. Now this is base dia, dia of body. Dia is D. So draw a circle like this freehand. Don't use any instrument because we are dealing with freehand sketching. And second circle like this. Again, I'm repeating if you are a student of class 12 CBSC, don't use any instrument, draw freehand. So I'm trying to improve it, but please don't use any instrument, don't use a rounder for construction work. Just draw two circles, two concentric circles of dia D, these are limits, 
and I approximately 1.60 for second circle. Now this circle is a visible circle, dark visible circle and second circle for D is a hidden circle. From top this is hidden. Now this is complete work. Then next is dimensioning. So this radius is 0 0.8 0 0.8 of D and if you want to show this diameter is approximately 1.60 it's not exact but approximately dia is 1.6 of D and D this is D so we can show this diameter D somewhere here or below this front view right then after doing this draw table for standard dimensions and write all the values D 0 0.70 0 0.80 and 1.6 of D 20, 14, 16 and 32. Then last, write its heading. Snap head rivet and if you have enough time please write front view and top view. So this is all from my side. Now I will request you to please draw this problem on your sheet starting from its head part. Draw two lines parallel to each other perpendicular to vertical axis 0.70 apart. Then locate its center 0.1D from this point or 0.80 from this point. Draw upper semicircular part. It is approximately semicircular. Use dark pencil and then draw its body part then its top view and please do not use any instrument for measurement and for construction work if you are a student of class 12th and if you have any doubt any problem in any of the topic of engineering graphics or machine drawing please write your comments in the comment box thank you